Hello and welcome to Learning BricsCAD. In this lesson we're going to be discussing creating and editing of polylines. So polylines are a specialized form of line object or entity that can consist of more properties than your traditional line object. And so the first thing that we're going to do is kind of clear up the view a little bit and we're going to freeze the uh, hidden line layer and that'll get that geometry out of the way. So let's use the layer control and freeze the hidden layer and then we'll begin to create a first polyline so selecting polyline on the draw toolbar and then using entity snaps I'll select the endpoint drag the cursor upwards and then we're going to use snap tracking to project the point across to the right side of the view then next we're going to switch to draw arcs selecting that option on the prompt menu and now we'll begin to the next point we'll draw an arc and then switching back to draw lines and selecting the endpoint and then simply right click to complete the polyline now hovering over this line I can see on the quad cursor menu that is is indeed a polyline object so the next thing we want to do is double click this polyline that's going to launch the p-edit command and then choosing join on the prompt menu and selecting the objects as shown here and then pressing the right mouse button we can see on the command line that seven segments have been added to the polyline and pressing enter will complete the command now if I select this object you can see the grips around the entire object indicating that it is indeed one single polyline okay the next thing that we're going to want to do is change our current layer so on the entity properties toolbar I'll select the machining top layer and make it current repeating the polyline command selecting it on the draw toolbar I'll begin by selecting this endpoint and then snapping to a perpendicular point on the center line then I want to switch the mode of the polyline command to drawing arcs and then using snap tracking find the point on the opposite side of the circle return back to drawing lines and selecting that endpoint so next we'll enter P edit and select the polyline so starting the P edit command then choosing multiple on the prompt menu and then we'll use an implied window to select the geometry as shown it will filter out those items that are not connected and asks if we want to turn it into a polyline selecting yes and then the join option and pressing enter for the fuzz distance here we can see two segments have been added to the polyline and if I select the polyline now you can see the grips along the entirety of the polyline and then using the properties palette we'll go ahead and change the global width to 0 0.10 inches and press enter and then you'll notice the width of the polyline object is displayed if we again select it we can then using the property palette we can actually cycle through the individual vertices of the polyline and if necessary we could grip edit these okay moving on we're going to move to the lower view here side view of this component and we're going to use the polyline command again this time we're going to turn off ortho and entity snaps and then 
Let's go ahead and change the layer to annotation. Okay, let's begin by starting with the polyline command. And then we'll just simply select a point near here and then set the width of the polyline. The starting width, we want it to be equal to 0 0.0625 and the ending width the same value. Now you can see the width as we drag the cursor and then selecting a point perpendicular to the center line. The next thing that we want to do is change the mode to arcs. And now as we drag the cursor, we're drawing an arc. So we want to try and position the arc generally concentric to that circle. And uh, selecting a point there, actually uh, nearest. And then switching back to draw lines, we want to also change the width value, 0.3. For the starting width and ending width of zero. Now this is going to give us an arrowhead type shape. We'll roughly position that endpoint, right click, and then press enter to accept the or to exit the command. So selecting fillet and then choosing the radius option, we'll enter a radius value of 0.094 and then choose the polyline option and select the polyline and you'll notice that all corners of the polyline are filleted at once. This completes the lesson on creating and editing polylines in BricsCAD.